Hey guys, what's up? Except for the selling, this is Dolphin Indure, and I'm here with a new video about 10 forgotten heroes in Mobile Legends. I have done this video months ago, and you guys seem to like it, so here's the number one. This video is completely based in sight, link in the description, so it's okay if it varies from your personal list. I have not mentioned heroes with low pick rate but high bandwidth, like Broody and Eve, they have a massive bandwidth equal to 87%. And 7% respectively. So they were not picked because they were not just available. At the last thing, just cause your favorite hero is in here, that doesn't mean they are weak. They are just not favorite of other people. If you like this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to comment your own list, I would love to see it. The 10 in our list is Rosala. She stands with the pick rate of 0.5. 1-7. If we look at the previous list, she managed to climb 3 ranks higher. New skin and visual reward work for her. She's a great healer and poker and a disabler. But as we stand right now, where one can die in 1-2 seconds with tiny mistakes, heals doesn't feel right. When a marksman is stunned and 500 heals doesn't even make a difference. No matter how unpopular she is in classic or rank, she will always be top tier in a brawl. Moving to the 9th list, it's Martis. The victor of 3000 worlds is still unpopular in Land of Dawn, with a pick rate of only 0.16. Well, it seems that only 0.01 less than Rafaela, but when we think about it, there are thousands of matches happening every day, so that 0.01 is more than 1000 games. There used to be the day when Martis was either banned or picked, but now he is overshadowed by the other heroes, but he's still very nice against heroes who heavily relies on their CC and the less mobility to no mobility, like Rudy, Leila, and Eve. For our 8th place, another healer. Get the hint bundle, your community doesn't want any healers. Maybe that's why they stopped making. The flaw of healing is shielding exist in this game. Since you shield even at full SP, but at full SP, the heal becomes literally useless. That may be the reason of our Elf King Estes is sitting with a pick rate of 0.14. But no matter how less he is still played, he still got the best skin. Just compare, this has to be the best skin in the game design wise. It would be cooler if the healing line was black in color, like ink. So, for the 7 and 6 list, we have a class of Lolita and Teresla with a pick rate of 0.13. So I decided to list them according to the bandwidth cause more bandwidth means less pick rate. That's why Lolita is on our 7 list. To be honest, I don't know why she has less pick rate. She has awesome shield that blocks any projectile. Maybe it's because of her ult. Cause her first skill is very nice to have. Maybe she is just overshadowed by new flashy heroes. Then to the 6th hero in our list is Teresla. Teresla is a great hero that has very high damage. But problem with him is that he is very slow dealing those that. So most of the time you will be hitting the ground with your ability. The only thing that helps him to hit his enemies is his ultimate. But its cast animation is so slow that it can be easily dodged with the help of any dash abilities or the most popular spell in the game. That's flicker. He can only sign if there is a hero which, which can slow or group all the enemies and stun them for some time until he lands his ability. So he is not recommended for the solo queue, but he can be really bad. He can be really good in a full stack team. Before going to the top five list, please leave a like and a sub if it really helps me. And do it only if you like. So one with the fifth list is the king of seven seas, Ben. If you play this hero, you are awesome. I have only seen the good Bane players, constantly pushing towers, one-shotting enemies, marksmen, and even assassins. I think the problem with him is, it must be his visual. Come on, he was supposed to be the king of seven seas, and he looked like a boiled octopus from Disney. Look at him before the rework, it used to be, it used to give the vibe of king of seven seas, but now, it's nothing. Back in the time, he was the only one to have a skin that cost more than one key gems. It was the Halloween theme, so it was very nice. But now, the skin also doesn't feel that good. So I think uh, some visual rework may change that. Then comes the fourth one, that will be... Oh, we again got a class with a pick rate of 0.1 just like before. The higher band rates gets to stay at the fourth. Dinosaur Rider, Brats. To be honest, I don't know why he is so unpopular. Since he was a recent hero, he is... And he is a stack reliant. So maybe that's the flaw. The problem with this kind of hero is these heroes are very nice with the stacks, but feels pretty useless when they are in zero. Since it can be very hard for some players to maintain the stacks, and if your team doesn't respect to continuously use of your abilities, then it's gonna be hard. And he also doesn't have any mobility, so can be easily kited. Maybe this is the reason behind of his low pick rate. 
Next one is our necromancer, Vixana. Whenever I am playing against her, I am very horrified. Get it? She horrifies with her first skill. Just trying to be funny. Well, she manages. Well, she's a nice miss, but the problem with her is her ultimate, which most of the time defines a hero. But it depends upon the enemy rather than yourself. Well, it's a nice ability if you are a support, but she's a miss, so it doesn't suit her as Gary. Then comes our second. I was amazed this hero was beat so low, and she's Carmilla. Sorry, random guy. Yet the truth is bitter. She's currently at the peak rate of 0.08. That's just sad. When I made that video, I was not sure how good she was, but after trying her, she was fun and good. After trying her, she was fun and good too. I think it's her ultimate that's holding her back. What do you think? Comment yours. I would love to hear your thoughts. The one and only which one could not be dethroned, our farm is. The problem is same. He is the lowest peak hero in MLB right now. With a 0.06 pick rate, the problem with Farmis is he signs when whole team is whole teammates dies. But a death is death. It doesn't matter. Even if you kill all five opponents by the help of Farmis, all you can't do anything. You can't push towers or take any objectives. So it's it won't even matter if you want a team fight. His all sand skills are good in theory, but not in practical. All you can do is wait for that 10 second to in for the dark screen to come. For me, I think if they give an ability to revive an ally who was dead within 3 seconds would be great. Or even enemies in his AOE. So that he needs some skills to use, not just spam. What do you think? Okay, this is it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, this is Dolphin. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.